Welcome to video 16 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to show you how to instantiate. So first of all I'll make something called a prefab and then I'll instantiate that prefab. Alright so I'm going to make a little grenade basically but it's just a cube so nothing really fancy at all. It's going to be a cube. I'll just reset the position here so I can see what I'm working on. Let's move it out of the way a bit. All right, put it up. I'm going to make it really small. I'll just make it 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Perhaps it's too small, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll give it a name. I'll just call it Grenade. Turn off my caps lock. Grenade. If I can spell, I think that's all right. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add a rigid body to this so it falls to the ground. It acts under physics. Okay. So if I hit uh, play right now, just watch it, you'll see there you go. Uh, the uh, grenade is affected by physics and this is what I want. Okay, that's enough, that's good enough. And I'll make use of that later. In this video, I'm just going to instantiate it in front of the player. Now I need to make a prefab, so I'm going to make a new folder. I'm just going to call it my prefabs. And then inside of the folder, I'll drop this grenade game object. Anything can be a prefab pretty much. And you can then instantiate it into the game at runtime uh, rather than having it in the scene at runtime. And uh, once I've made my uh, prefab, I don't need it anymore. I'm just going to uh, delete it from there. Okay, so that's it. Uh, so I've gotten rid of it from the hierarchy. And now I'm going to instantiate it through code. So it's going to be uh, put into the game at runtime using code. So I'm going to write a new script here. And I'm going to call it a uh, throw grenade script. Throw grenade. And I'll open it up in Visual Studio. And as usual, I'll just uh, change the line endings. OK. And put it in the right namespace. So chapter one. All right. Okay, now I need to make a slot for it. So in the inspector, so I'm going to say public game object grenade. I'll just, I can name it anything, but I'll call it grenade prefab. Okay, and then I'll come back here to Unity. And well, now I think I will attach it to the first person character. So that way, when it's instantiated, it will be relative to the first person character. And it'll feel right. So if the player is looking upwards and they throw their grenade, it'll fly upwards and then come down to the ground through gravity. In this video, I won't show you about add force. It'll look a little funny when we're finished in this video, but in the next video, uh, you'll see it acting properly. So there we go. Throw grenade and it's expecting something to get slotted in here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the grenade game object and once again I'll just lock this so I don't accidentally click away and lose it. So for example, uh, when you're working away and you're slotting stuff in to uh, the inspector, if you click away by accident like, oh, now I have to go back and find where on earth was that script and then try and drag it on and I might miss and then it'll get deactivated. So a quick way around that is the lock button up here. You lock it, you can click anywhere, and it's not going to go away from this inspector panel. And that allows me to just easily drag something in and then unlock it. OK, done. So OK, going back to the script, uh, I need to instantiate, right? So I'm going to make another function here called void um, throw grenade, I guess, or throw, uh, or just, I'll just call it instantiate grenade. That's more logical. Yes, it is. OK. And I'll also have set initial references. Void set initial. OK. And I need another variable, private transform my transform. OK. And also, oh, no, I, won't, I won't worry about that. I'm not going to worry about a uh, fire rate uh, for now. No need to. It's fine my transform is equal to transform, all right? And then here, I will make sure I'll establish that, set initial references, good. So I'll set that reference. Okay, then here with the instantiate grenade, 
Uh, well, well, first of all, it'll get called an update. So if, if input dot get um, get button, yeah, get button down. Yeah, I'll use get, get button down. And uh, which button is that? I know from previously, it's the fire one key. That's the mouse zero. Remember the edit input manager. Uh, so I'm just using uh, that. Uh, then in that case, I will instantiate uh, my grenade here. All right. Now to do that, I'll simply say uh, instantiate. Uh, whoops, wrong one. Actually, it's a stupid name because it's getting confused there. It's bringing up the instantiate grenade. When instead, I want to do instantiate. So I should say. Uh, spawn, spawn grenade, something like that, something more sensible. Spawn grenade, a name that isn't sort of used up elsewhere. So I'll just paste that over there. That's better. And I'll say then instantiate. Now to instantiate something, you have to first say what it is that you are instantiating. So it's a game object, right? So I'll instantiate a grenade prefab. And you have to say, okay, which position? Where are you instantiating it? So I'm going to say my transform dot transform point. I want to instantiate just in front of my, of, in front of me, not directly inside of the player, but in front of the player and in front, not just the player, but in front of the camera. So the, the, uh, the, uh, the, well, the first person character that this is attached to, right? So I'm going to say zero. Uh, so zero and X. Yes. Keep it in the zero and the X. No, I don't want it adjusted upwards. So keep it in zero in the Y, but yes, in the forwards direction, which is Z. Yes. I want to uh, move it there. So I'm going to use 0.5 F as a guess. 0.5 units forward. Okay. And as for rotation, I could use quaternion that identity. It's not that important, but I will just use my transform dot rotation. Use the rotation uh, of the uh, game object that is that it's getting instantiated from. So well, this one, my transform, which is the uh, camera uh, game object, which is the first person character right here. Coming back, okay. I'll just close that. I will uh, save that, and I am pretty much good to go. Right. Uh, so I'll just save, hit play. All right, let's have a look. There you go. It's getting instantiated. Pretty good. But of course, it's not really behaving like how it needs to. It needs to get thrown forwards, right? Another thing I was just thinking, how about I make this a little bit more interesting? At the moment, it's in the center of the screen, but I got this gun thing here, right? Why don't I do something more interesting? How about, how about I move that to the weapon, right? Wouldn't that make more sense? So let's grab uh, the throw grenade script, just drag it, drop it onto the weapon. So it's gone now. It's no longer on the first person character. It's now actually on the weapon. And why don't I give that a try? Let's see how that looks. That looks much better, doesn't it? There you go. You can see it's actually appearing to come out of the uh, gun, out of the weapon itself, which is pretty cool. Uh, now, of course, it needs a force applied to it. Otherwise, I just run around. Oh, I'm really just laying bricks, I'm not actually throwing a grenade or anything. It's not actually doing anything useful. But anyway, you get the idea. I am, in fact, uh, instantiating these game objects. So uh, another thing I should show you is that how to destroy a game object. So let me stop that because otherwise we're just going to have hundreds of them cluttering up the scene. Uh, so once I instantiate, oh, oh I, sh I can capture a reference to it. So I, I should show you this. So game object go uh, just just for the sake of it, I can call it anything is equal to and you have to say what the what the type is of the uh, object that you want to put in here. So when you instantiate something, it's not it's this isn't this whole phrase here is not a game object of the type game object, you must specify that you want the game object of what was instantiated. So that's why I'm writing the code like this, it looks funny. But that's how you do it. Now I've captured a reference to what I just instantiated in the variable go. And I will say go dot destroy 
uh, sorry, rather destroy go in, and I can say in how much time, and I'll say, say uh, for example, uh, how about I put five seconds? Nah, maybe it's too, too little, maybe 10 seconds. All right. And then if I jump in, start running around, start leaving a bread breadcrumb trail, you'll find that the trail starts to disappear after uh, 10 seconds. There you go. They're all disappearing now. Yep. So there, my destroy is working just fine. Okay, that's enough for this video. Next video, I'll show you how to add force to those grenades so they actually fly away. And um, so in this video, just to recap, you saw how to just make a prefab, super simple. You saw how to uh, instantiate a game object, and I did it relative uh, to the weapon of the player using these terms here, which you can easily do yourself. And then I just de destroyed the game object after a certain amount of time. So really simple, really basic and effective. All right. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.